Coming up next on Campus News, we will tell you about Career Day at Alma Pierce. We will show you an Honor Society induction ceremony at Tarver, and we will tell you about the Star Awards. All of this and much more coming up on Campus News, Laredo's best and only news for students. Hello and thank you for joining LISD's very own student newscast, the only newscast that offers the most in school and community coverage for students. I'm Victoria Salas. And I'm Raquel Benavides from Didier Char Elementary School. Here's our top story. An important press conference was recently held at Sames Motor Company. This was to announce the continuation of the Drive Sames for Education program. This program gives students and teachers the opportunity to enter a raffle to win a new car. All they have to do is have perfect attendance during any nine-week period of the school year. Thomas Pina is a general manager at Sames. He tells us about the opportunity to promote perfect attendance. Sometimes we have to give a little bit more to the community and expect nothing in return. So if we can promote perfect attendance, that is huge. And we know perfect attendance is a pretty big deal because a lot goes into it. Students have to focus, get up every morning. The parents have to be involved because they're focused on it too because it begins with them as well. So Sames family wants to reward those families and those hardworking students and the great teachers here in the area so we get an opportunity to give away a car every year and it's become the most exciting event of the year. This is the fourth year that the Drive Sames for Education program has existed. LISD would like to thank the Sames Motor Company for being an excellent partner in the education of our students. A very fun and educational event was recently held at one of our great elementary schools. This event was career day at Alma Pierce Elementary School. They invited many law enforcement and other community organizations to their school. This was to teach the students about the many different careers that exist. Amy Cruz, an assistant principal at Alma Pierce, tells us about this event. This is our career on wheels for our pre-K three to second graders. I did this in conjunction with our school counselor, Ms. Elsa Morales. As you can see, we have different community entities joining us today partnering up so that we can show our students what different career paths they can take when they grow up. They're having so much fun and it's such a great event. Some of the organizations that showed up for this event was Custom and Border Protection as well as the K-9 unit from Department of Homeland Security. This was a very fun event that the students really enjoyed. A great event to honor some outstanding students was recently held in Laredo. This was the Outstanding 8th Graders of the Month Ceremony. It was held over at the campus of Antonio Gonzalez Middle School. This event was put together by the Laredo Police Department and KGNS TV. They get together and select one Outstanding 8th Grader from each Laredo Middle School and honor them as the Student of the Month. The students from LISD who were selected to receive this great award were Vianay Garcia from Sierra Middle School, Naomi Garcia from Christian Middle School, Fanelli Blaine Dixon from Lamar Middle School, and Katrina Haynes from Memorial Middle School. Many parents and school administrators were present at this event. LISD would like to congratulate all of the students who were selected to receive this great award. Keep up the great work. A swearing-in ceremony was recently held for three new police officers that will be joining Laredo ISD. This event was held at the Vidal M. Trevino Magnet School. Officer Eric Villarreal is the training coordinator for the LISD Police Department. He tells us who the three new police officers are. We're going to present three new officers coming to our police department. Um, and then we go from there. The three officers are Armando Cadena, Daniel, Daniel Magañades, and Jasmine Villarreal. As police officers for Laredo ISD, their main mission is to provide a safe working and learning environment for all students and staff of LISD. And as police officers for a school district, they also have another mission to carry out. Officer Villarreal tells us about that other mission. Also at the same time what they're doing with the, 
with the kids or they're actually being good role models. So in case they actually want to go to the criminal justice field or anything like that, or even become a police officer, they actually see what we're actually doing here. LISD would like to welcome the three new police officers to our school district. We know they'll do an excellent job. Some science students recently went outside to a nearby pond to perform some very interesting water quality tests. These students were from Hector J. Garcia Early College High School. They went to the pond that is located at the Tamiu campus. Lori Moreno is a science teacher at the Hector J. Garcia Early College High School. She tells us about the tests the students are doing. My class is out here. We are collecting water from the local Tamiu pond and we are testing it for different levels such as the pH, the dissolved oxygen, the nitrate levels, the phosphate levels and as you can see right here they are doing some tests and we are recording our results and we're going to see how clean this Tamiu pond water is. She also tells us how these tests will help the students. This is very helpful for the students so they can understand why it's important to take care of our environment, why it's important not to pollute, why it's important to make sure that our vehicles are in good standing to not cause any pollution in the air, to make sure that our water is clean and healthy for all of us. The students had a wonderful time performing these very valuable tests. A great event was recently held over at Tarver Elementary School. This event was an induction ceremony into the National Elementary Honor Society. Twelve very hardworking and deserving students were selected to be inducted on this day. Students must excel in the areas of leadership, service, responsibility, and scholarship to receive this honor. As part of the event, the students read what those four words mean and represent. Maria Elena Hernandez is the counselor at Tarver Elementary School. She tells us about how excited they are for the students' accomplishment. I'm very excited because this is a very prestigious award. It's based on academics, it's based on community service, it's based on a lot of other accomplishments, and only a few students get selected. The students' parents and family members were invited to this ceremony so they could share in this great honor. Congratulations to these 12 students for being inducted into the National Elementary Honor Society. When we return, our co-anchors Santiago and Data will continue bringing you the news. Stay tuned. Laredo ISD prepares each student with unlimited possibilities every day. Attending school daily and on time is important for your child's academic success. We encourage you to take the following flu prevention precautions to ensure your child stays healthy and avoids school absences. Get your flu vaccine. Wash your hands with soap and warm water. Use alcohol-based hand sanitizers if soap and water is not available. Cover your nose and mouth when you cough or sneeze. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, or mouth. Wash your hands before eating. Do not share food, drinks, or utensils. Avoid close contact with sick people and schedule your routine checkups. Also important is to get plenty of sleep, be physically active, manage your stress, drink plenty of fluids, and eat nutritious meals. Let's all enjoy a healthy lifestyle and experience the unlimited possibilities at Laredo ISD. Have you been studying and working hard to become a teacher? Laredo ISD would like to invite you to join our team. We offer competitive pay, great benefits, and teacher stipends. Plus, you will receive all the support you need to have a rewarding and lasting career as a teacher. So go to our website and apply now. Students face diverse and unique challenges as they become young adults. The staff at the Jose A. Valdez Non-Traditional High School is committed to mentoring students in every aspect of problem solving, healthy living, and citizenship. We offer online courses to attain credits and provide counseling services in collaboration with community organizations. Students at the Jose A. Valdez Non-Traditional High School are taught to make healthy decisions through empowerment and accountability. For more information, call 273-8000. Laredo ISD prepares each student with unlimited possibilities every day. Attending school daily and on time is important for your child's academic success. 
Experience the unlimited possibilities at Laredo ISD. Welcome back to LISD's Campus News. I'm Santiago Hernandez. And I'm Jada Sanchez, also from DDHR Elementary School. We will continue bringing you the news. A very important proclamation was recently held inside of the Webb County Courthouse. Many community organizations gathered there to proclaim the month of October as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Laura Nanez was a longtime educator in the Laredo Independent School District and a 15-year breast cancer survivor. She is now the event leader for the American Cancer Society's Relay for Life. She tells us more about what occurred on this day. We are here today to proclaim the month of October as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We invited all the organizations that our community has so that they can give us a detailed um, account of what events they will be having to raise awareness for breast cancer. This was a great event that was held inside of the Webb County Courthouse. Members of the LISD Police Department recently received some important training. This training was a yearly mandatory firearms training. Roberto Villarreal is the Chief of Police for the Laredo Independent School District. He tells us more about this training. Behind me today you'll see some uh, training that we do on a yearly basis. This is one of the training that we do that um, qualifies the um, officers so they can be carrying the weapons. It is a training that takes place a minimum of one time a year and they run different scenarios. It's an eight hour course that uh, trains uh, the officers to the next level. There are more than 30 police officers in the LISD Police Department. This was a great event for some of the police officers of our school district. A flu vaccine clinic was held over at Lamar Middle School. This event was held inside of the school's library. Oscar Villanueva is the registered nurse at Lamar Middle School. He tells us more about this event. We're here at Lamar Middle School. We're actually giving the flu vaccines today here for the students. It is very important that they get their vaccines in order for them uh, to prevent from getting sick uh, and, and in turn they continue uh, coming to school and prevent uh, our teachers and staff from also um, getting sick. We're also giving out the flu vaccines for our staff as a matter of fact. Uh, they can come in and they use their um, insurance card and they can get their free flu vaccines. Many students showed up and took advantage of this great opportunity to protect themselves against the flu. These flu clinics will continue to take place at all of the LISD campuses throughout the fall. A great event was recently held at the Jesus Martinez Performing Arts Complex Forum. This event was to honor the students who excel in the STAR exam. Let's take a look at the, that event. On behalf of the LISD board, we are grateful for everything that you do, for getting up every morning and doing your best. We at the LISD board work hard every day, but we're only doing them out of our heart to set you up every day so that you can succeed. On behalf of Laredo Independent School District, I would like to thank each and every parent who is here tonight. You are very, very special in the eyes of your kids as well as to us, as educators, as teachers, as administrators in our school. I want us to work with you to open the doors of opportunity for your kids, for your sons, for your daughters, for your grandchildren. We want to be those people that actually give kids a reason to succeed. So I encourage you to be the better best of yourself. What do I mean by that? I expect you to be the best person you can be. But on that road, I expect you to lead others, to encourage others, to invite others. You are that important. So never lose sight of that. Walk tall, be brave, and you know what? Reach for that next level of success which is yours. So on behalf of our district, I offer you with my most sincere gratitude 
a very, very big thank you. An important press conference was recently held at the Jesus Martinez Performing Arts Complex. This press conference was to announce the details for this year's National Night Out event. This event was held on Tuesday, October 10 at the Jesus Martinez Performing Arts Complex. This event allowed the community to meet and chat with members of law enforcement in a very casual setting. Roberto Valli is the city council member for District 8 and one of the organizers of the event. He tells us what they love about this event. What we would love to see is that we see families coming from this area, walking from the different neighborhoods that are close to, to the area. Uh, they are meeting with law enforcement and we're building community relations between law enforcement and families and it's very important because that creates good communication and that good communication ultimately means a safer community for for everybody this was a great press conference that was held at the jesus martinez performing arts complex a group of parents recently went to mcdonald elementary school to attend an important class this class was called the pillow it is a part of the parental skills and development courses that are being offered to LAZ parents and family members. Carlos Rene Ramirez is the lead parent liaison for Laredo ISD. He tells us more about this class. In this particular class today, we're going to discover the history of the pillow, the history of the almohada, and we're also going to uh, discover the different ways of how to understand stress. So this particular class is basically to understand and, and, and truly see how stress can be controlled. These classes are being offered through the, the Parents and Family Engagement Program of Laredo ISD. If you would like to attend one of these classes, please contact your school. That wraps up this edition of Campus News. I'm Jada Santos. And I'm Santiago Hernandez. Don't forget to tune in next time. Until then, make sure you continue to take advantage of the unlimited possibilities that are offered at LISD. See you next time. encourages all students to read every day. Boogie on down to your school library or public library and read a cool book. Reading will provide you with unlimited possibilities. Read a book, an e-book, a magazine, or a newspaper. Your choices are unlimited. Books make everything groovy. Peace, love, and read at Laredo ISD. The Laredo Independent School District would like to remind you about an important policy. All students must be dressed in a manner that adheres to the district-wide dress code policy. This dress code is in place in order to provide a safe and distraction-free learning environment for all students of LISD. The dress code applies to all LISD campuses and facilities and any location off campus 
where LISD students are receiving classroom instruction. If you have any questions about the dress code, please contact your school. Today, LISD has the pleasure of honoring two outstanding veterans. Jose Paz Gámez and his younger brother, Agustin Gámez, are both veterans of the United States Army. Sergeant Jose Paz Gámez was born in 1921, and he entered the Army in September of 1942. I went to Corvette, New Mexico. Al CC Camp, con el gobierno. Estuve un año, un año, tres meses. En 1941-1941 se reventó la guerra. De aquí me hablaron para el para Orme. Tenía yo 21 años. Y ahí fue. He served our great country during World War II until his honorable discharge in 1945. After his discharge from the army, he married his beautiful wife Juanita T. Gámez in February 1946. They were married for 68 years until her death three years ago. Se murió mi esposa ahora hace como tres años. Yo yo lo quería, yo lo quería mucho. Yo no. Nunca nos peleamos, esto está muy bueno. Mi mamá la quería mucho a ella. En aquel tiempo te casaban el día, eh, te, el día eh, eh, a las seis de la mañana en la iglesia. De modo de que hubo, hubo baile todo el día. Sergeant Gámez did various jobs, including migrant farm work, working for the Tex-Mex Railroad Company, working at Exxon, until he finally settled at LISD in the Division of Operations as a mechanic and painter. Pinté toda la escuela, hasta ahí me juego fútbol ahí. Todo, todo, todo Martin Jackson pinté yo, todo, todo los, donde se sentaron los muchachos y todo, todo. Y pintaba, y la maestra llevaba, llevaba muy bien conmigo, yo también me portaba bien. Porque la maestra, pues hay que, hay que respetarla. He worked at LISD for 27 years until his retirement in 1989. Mr. Jose Paz Gámez comes from a family of 12 brothers and sisters. His younger brother, Agustin Gámez, is also a veteran of the United States Army. Hermanas de hermanos fueron 12. Hermanos de Agustin. Él, él fue el ejército, él lo hirieron a él, Agustín, mi hermano, y él tuvo, él tuvo para acá, él, 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 él era el más chiquito, cuando me fui yo estaba chiquito. Agustín Gámez served our country during the Vietnam War. He was drafted in 1966 when he was 22 years old while he was a student in junior college. Agustin served from August 1966 to July of 1968. I was trained to be a driver for the personal armor carrier. That we call him Papa Charlie. And uh, they trained me, but uh, when you were in Vietnam, the, the sergeant told you, you're a soldier because many of the, the drivers of that personal carrier would object. He said, hey, I was trying to be a driver, not an infantryman. And the sergeant would tell you, hey, you're a soldier. Today, tonight, night patrol. So every night, most every night, we would stop being a driver and become an infantryman. After the war, Agustin Gámez continued his education and received a bachelor's, a master's, and a supervisor's degree. He worked for LISD for close to 42 years in various teaching and supervisory positions, but his favorite was teaching students how to play the guitar. 
I enjoy working with uh, the children. And my favorite was teaching guitar to the students. I did that for many, many years, about uh, 35 years with Eliza. He shares with us where he got his passion for playing the guitar. My mother, Joseva Mendez de Gámez, uh, played the guitar. So I remember that she would sit me on the ground and show me. Mira, Agustina, this is just, okay? And I learned, but I, of course I didn't pay attention. I was only six, seven years old. But later on, when I became maybe 12, 13, 14, I really started teaching. She was the one that me sembró la semilla, you know? Every time I came from work, believe it or not, I would go to my room and get my guitar and play, you know? Relaxes your mind. Really. So that's what I do. I have, like, la guitarra para mí es lo mejor. Es mi segunda esposa. And speaking about wives, Mr. Agustin Gámez tells us about his real wife, Alicia Aurora, who he has been married with close to 48 years. My wife, Alicia Aurora, she's a wonderful wife, wonderful lady, wonderful mother. And I need to give credit to her. She guided my three children, Agustin, Gabriel, and Adriana Aurora. And they're all professionals. They have uh, their schooling, you know. But I have to give credit to my wife. She's really the, she's very soft-spoken, but, not, but when she talks, la verdad. And she's been very good to me. Thank you, Agustin and Jose Paz Gámez. LISD salutes your service to our country and to our school district. At the Laredo Independent School District, there are many different fine arts programs available. choose from joining the band, orchestra, or the elementary cheer and dance program. There are many other opportunities as well. Being in mariachi helps keep the music or culture alive. I'm in Trinity because I think it is important to keep our school spirit strong. Being a diamond dancer is a lot of fun. I love to dance. It is a great way to show our school pride. It's given us as a team the opportunity to showcase our talent in Laredo and across the state. It's taught me discipline, responsibility, to keep up my grades and to come to school every day. Go Buffcat! If you are interested in participating in any of these fine arts programs, speak to your school counselor. <laughs>